everyone, today I wanted to go through a leak code problem, 1242, or multi web crawler multi-threaded. Uh, I hadn't seen many solutions for it when I searched on YouTube, uh, so I went through it this weekend and uh, wanted to at least show my approach and my solution here. So hopefully it's of uh, interest and help to you. Um, so let's get going with the problem. The short synopsis of this is basically we are want to build a web crawler, so we're going to be given a site, or at least a URL to a site, so we don't know how deep that uh, link that we're provided to start with could be, but basically we want to crawl all of the pages only on that specific site. So they give this uh, summary of the problem. I've kind of found a little bit confusing, but uh, I think hopefully my summary is a little bit faster, but basically you have um, <clears throat> a given URL. You have this object called HTML parser, which has a function called get URL, so given a page, it would scan that page for any other URLs and pass that back as a list. Um, and we basically want to do two things. We want to find every link that's, or sorry, every page based on the links on that site. Uh, and we do not want to crawl anything that is not on that site. So if we're on, um, you know, myfunsite.com, we don't want to leave. If there's a link to google.com, we want to ignore that. Uh, and the same token, I guess, uh, we want to be efficient here. And so that means if we have already visited a given page or one of the threads has visited a page, we don't want to revisit it. So I'll show the different, uh, how we handle those constraints. I'll be implementing this with a breadth first search approach. So we're going to have a deck uh, and then we'll be using a, uh, this is multi-threading, not multi-processing. So we're going to stay on the same CPU, but we'll create threads and uh, block appropriately uh, so that this is a effectively a network or IO bound problem uh, because while it's crawling the page, we could be doing something else that's already returned from crawling that specific page. So basically we're architecting uh, a handler uh, for this given um, web crawler. So to get going in the code here, first thing we need to do is uh, we want to create a pool of threads because we're going to spawn off a number of different threads. It'll start crawling uh, so we can do this more efficiently. And so we will import uh, the following from current library. We want thread pool executor. So this will handle a pool of threads for us and do some things automatically. I think we want to do um, as completed. <clears throat> so this other as completed function will give in a list of, uh, so when we submit a thread, we'll get a futures back. And of course we're gonna have a thread pool. So we have multiple threads submitted. So we'll have uh, an array uh, or list of uh, given threads as they complete. This as completed will signal which ones have completed and then we can work with those. Uh, so that's a little more efficient to handle the threads that way. So once we start our function, uh, first thing we need to do is be able to verify what, given a URL, so let's just pretend we have, um, right here, we want to find what the domain is. And this the domain in this case is mysite.com. So we can do that by splitting uh, on the forward slash. <clears throat> and what'll happen is if we walk through this doing a split, we'll get an HTTP colon. This will be the first split right here. This will get turned into a space, so that'll be effectively our second split. We'll have mysite.com, so that'll be the third. And then another uh, break here, and then news, and we don't really care about the rest. So basically this will end up being the second item, so zero, one, two. So we'll need to create a get base, we'll make a lambda function. Um, so, um, take in a URL, and with the URL we're going to split it on the first well, on the forward slash and we're going to take the second object uh, for the reasons I showed above which should basically give us the given domain. I think what we want to do is is for every URL that we find from our <clears throat> HTML parser we want to make sure that URL actually references our current site because that's all we care about we don't care about any external sites so we need to uh, verify what is our current site that we're dealing with now so we don't have to consistently check that over and over um, so that would be get base uh, and we're given our start URL so we'll take that to set up our current site. Last thing we need to do, the final constraint is basically we do not want to revisit pages that we've already, one of the threads has already visited. So we can do that by creating a set, which I'll call visited. And we'll pass in what we have, which is our start URL to kick things off. Um, you do need to pass this into the set uh, inside of a list here, otherwise it'll take uh, the given, if it was my site, I kind of add in start parsing up M, Y, S, et cetera. So this will keep it intact. And at this point, we're actually ready to go. So first thing we need to do is set up our thread pool. And it's a context. Uh, the context will ensure that once we're done with it, it will clean up the thread pool for us automatically without having to do anything. So with through ex thread pool executor, uh, there is an option for max workers. Let's see, it's 10. Okay, so this will give us our context to reference here. So with that set up, 
we need to make a deck. And this is the breadth first search portion I was referencing. <clears throat> so basically, as items come in, uh, we'll do a first in, first out, and process. Uh, I, I say first in, first out. It's actually not quite correct because we're going to run as completed. So as they complete, uh, those will bubble up. But uh, that's how we can assure that as things are ready to go, they're not just in future state, but they've actually completed. We can pull the results and process. So from here, uh, let's see, we need to set it up. So deck equals um, deck. And what are we adding to the deck to kick off? We are going to submit a job. And there's two things in the submit thing. There's the function we want to call, um, <clears throat> which in this case is this HTML parser, which is this. And what are we passing? Uh, oh, sorry, section of HTML parser. We want to call get URLs. And so this function we want to pass in, the only thing we have, which is our start URL to kick things off. So let's so load up our deck with the first uh, <clears throat> particular page. And so with uh, the deck, so we want to process while we have a deck. And <clears throat> as things complete in the deck. So this will pop off the first thing. So once we have this ready to go, we'll start looping. And um, as the job completes, so pretend something that is completed here, um, what we get back is a list of strings or a list of URLs. So that's what I'm calling it current URLs. So we'll pop left to get it off the deck. And we need to, since it's transition from a future that's completed, uh, we want to get the result, which will then give us our list of URLs. So this is the first thing here, and we clean that off the deck. So from here, uh, we're going to walk through these URLs, and we need to do two things. We need to make sure we haven't visited them before, and secondary, that this any given URL is actually relevant to our base site and not some external site. So we can write that as um, if, sorry, we need to loop through. So for URL in current URLs, because again, we'll have a list of URLs. So for each URL, we need to make these checks. And the first check is uh, if URL not in visited. So we haven't visited this page before. And that this particular URL, the domain itself, is on the domain we care about, which is uh, the one we're processing. So get base URL equals current site. OK, so assuming those conditions are correct, we fall through. And uh, we want to do two things. We want to add it so that we don't visit, or other threads don't visit it. And from there, we need to process that particular page. And then within each page, we were going to pull all the URLs that are off of that and add it to the deck and repeat this whole process until we've completed the entire website. <clears throat> so visited.add and dq.pend. Uh, what are we pending here? Um, <clears throat> ex.submit, the bracket is. Um, HTML parser, get URLs is the function we're going to call, and in this case we're calling, uh, actually, so we don't need this. So, uh, ax.submit, so if I pull executor, submit a task to it, and function we want it to run is get URLs, and we want to process this particular URL, and repeat. So, eventually we'll process all of the pages on this given site, so our deck will register as empty, and at that point we need to return the list of all the URLs that we found, which is basically the visited keeps and ensures we return unique, all the unique pages. Let's see if that works. It does. Uh, just to show you the example here. Um, <clears throat> so in this case, our input um, was kind of miscellaneous. So it says news.yahoo.com, and then it's got some sub pages like news topics. There was a reference to news.google.com, which we don't care about. So we want to make sure that we didn't process that. Um, so our output in this case is correct. We have Yahoo references to news, US topics, and the site itself. So, and we ignored successfully the Google page or the Google domain. So make sure everything works. And pretty efficient. So that's the quick solution, uh, or at least the way I implemented it. Uh, hopefully that it shows you how to use Threadful Executor, uh, so multi-threading. And again, this is multi-threading, not multi-processing. Um, but uh, yeah, interesting problem and um, good example of using Brett search and a, kind of a realistic uh, application here. So hope that helps.